Hi, this is Richard Romano from WhatTheyThink.com, and we're here at the OSE WOW Live event in Boca Raton, Florida. And we are talking with Jeremy Hess, who is the Director of Marketing for Gash Printing. Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about Gash Printing, uh, where you're located, who your customers are, what types of work you do, that kind of thing. Uh, we're a book printer located just south of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we do short to medium run books, anywhere from 10 to 2,000 quantity. Our main uh, market is small to medium sized publishing companies as well as a lot of independent publishers. Is That's a growing, growing market. Hmm. Now independent, I assume you mean self or vanity publishers? Self publishers, yeah. People come to us from either online, whether they have one title, some of them have 10, 15 titles, but yet they're not going through the traditional publishing route. Mm -hmm. And you find that growing? It's here. growing dramatically. I mean, people really would rather avoid going through the publishing companies that are taking all their profits and cuts. They'd rather go through, sell the book themselves, just get it printed through us, and they distribute it however they like. Hmm. Now, do you handle any of the back end stuff, uh, some of the, the sales and distribution, or is it just the printing, and then they are in charge of doing whatever? They handle all the you know distribution because they all have different models that hmm. they like, you know. But it is a growing market in terms of why have somebody else do it when I can do it myself, and therefore keep control of everything instead of having somebody else have control of the project. Mm -hmm. And some of the um, official publishers that you work with, what types of markets do they tend to be in? Is it scholarly or is it trade? Or? Yeah, a lot of trade, a lot of scholarly. It's a, it's a good mix of both, I think. Um, obviously, ebooks are making an impact on things, but uh, the printed book is still preferred by a lot of people, so I don't see it going away anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And what types of equipment do you have? We have a OSE 10,000 Flex, um, and we also have a OSE 7550, both black and white, uh, both digital web presses. Mm -hmm. And how do you find working with OSE? Uh, good. I mean, we just purchased the uh, CS10,000 a few months ago, and we purchased it for the specific reason of halftone quality. Uh, the customers we were going after had to have the halftone quality. Um, we searched all around, compared all the different products in that class, in that category, and the 10,000 was by far the best one. It was, uh, for us, it was a no-brainer. Hmm. So what are your marketing plans for attracting new types of customers, those types of, sort of self-publishers that you're trying to attract? Uh, we have a big footprint online, people who are you know, searching for printers, obviously, uh, for the independent uh, publishing market. They really don't have the contacts within the printing industry, so they're just sort of Googling everything, trying to find out mm -hmm. who I can get to help me with this. So uh, that's a big part of it, as well as you know, word of mouth. You're an independent publisher, and you're an independent pub publisher. If you've done business with me and you've had good success, well, you're going to tell your friend, and he's going to tell their friend, and so on and so forth. Hmm. Do you have any like pre-press challenges? I'm sure dealing with sort of the, the vast rabble, you probably get all sorts of strange files, not necessarily from professional designers. It, it makes it tough, especially in independent marketing, in, in an independent publishing area, uh, where they don't necessarily always know what they're doing. You sort of have to educate them along, and it's a learning process for them, obviously, but it's something for us that it's, it's worth doing. You know, I mean, if I can take uh, the time to help you out personally with your book, and uh, you know, make that a success that you, that's very valuable to you that you may not get from a, a bigger printing company somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Do you do any uh, ebook work? Uh, we do some. It's obviously a growing trend, and we want to be a part of that. Uh, but it's a very complicated and messy industry right now in terms of all the different devices, all the different um, you know screen sizes and formats and all of that kind of stuff. But obviously. People are looking to get into it more and more, and so we're trying to do the best we can to help them with that. Mm, and you're staying on top of all the different formats and stuff. We try to. It's a, a challenging process. <laughs> like, like painting the Golden Gate sure. Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what brought you to this event down here in Florida? Uh, we were actually with OSA at a conference in uh, New York, and they asked me to come down and speak on the customer panel. But we're also looking at the, uh, s the Canon 7010 color box, because we're in the market for a new color box also. And it's always good to meet with you know industry leaders in terms of keeping up on the markets and what's happening. Hmm. So, what are the specific takeaways from this that you're going to sort of bring back when you head back to Baltimore? Uh, I think you always take back on what other people are doing. Um, it's good to always stay informed on because obviously it's a huge, complicated industry. Mm -hmm. There's so many different avenues within book printing that everyone's doing it differently. So it's always good to know what can I do better? What are they doing that's worked? What are they doing that's not really worked? And let's sort of learn from all of that. Great. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.